In Sumter, more people are leaving their homes and seeking emergency shelter. That's according to a local ministry, which says they've seen more calls and visits from those who say they just can't afford rent. Our Kaylin Hagwood has been studying the issue and brings us a closer look. Sumter United Ministries provides free food and emergency services, but leaders say their shelter has seen more visitors amid an affordable housing crisis affecting the nation. Sabrina McKilla says she's a cook at a local nursing home. It's just one of her jobs. The other is being a mom to three boys. In her downtime, she thinks of how to provide for them best. A lot of times I can't even sleep because I'm trying to figure out how can I elevate to get out of my situation. She lives on reduced rent through the Sumter Housing Authority, but says it's still hard to get ahead. I'm living from paycheck to paycheck, and sometimes I have to make choices like, hey, am I going to cut my Duke Energy bill low because I don't have it? You know, I'm trying to get my kids a jacket. According to a 2021 study by the State Housing Authority, a basic two-bedroom apartment is not affordable in the majority of the state. Roughly 24% of renters spend more than half of their income on rent, and one in every four renters have faced eviction. It's a lot for a single parent that's not having any help. So I look towards, like, the Christian ministry. Sumter United Ministries help her with clothing for her boys, but Daphne Scarborough with the ministry says she's not the only one calling. About five of the 20 people at their temporary shelter are there due to rental concerns, she says. That does not include the five to ten calls that I get a day that have this issue because they've been pushed out of their homes due to the fact that they can't afford the rent. McKilla said she'd like to see more educational opportunities made available on things like finance and how to access a home. Educate us a little bit more or show us how we can get our hands on this information. There are some resources available for those in need. The State Housing Authority offers rental assistance for those who qualify through the SC State Plus program. It also has home buyer support resources like vouchers and loans. Now you can also visit your local SC Work Center. Those are through the Department of Employment and Workforce and they help with resume building and job training, different services to help get you on your way. Reporting here in studio, Kaylin Hagwood, News 19 WLTX.